Hello everyone. Happy Saturday. Get this garage door open. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys hanging in there with us today. We have got some goodies we're going to install on Earl. And if you don't know, this is Earl. <laughs> and it gets better. Oh yeah. Only way to do it. Oh lock the doors anyways so we've got the hood popped today so what we're gonna be working on today we're gonna be installing Raptor lights um, love them or hate them I really like them I like the way they look uh, I got fixed up with this company here I got their box and we've got a surprise for you guys today as well so this is from um, custom auto works out of uh out of new york so um we got their stuff here there's their info there if you want to get a hold of them um hopefully that's is that coming through good i can't really can't really tell on the camera so um here's what we got so ooh. all right here it is so we got the little led lights we got four of them and this one is actually for the ones with the led tail lights which is what i have on mine i got the led tail lights and it's really cool um it's pretty much plug and play for the most part um you've got one connection here for your power and you got one connection here for your ground so they send you a few things that you can tap into your um if you wanted to tap in and use your uh, your upfitter switches uh and turn them on that way or you can hook them up to your side marker lights, your parking lights, so that they're on when your parking lights are on. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. That's what I want to do. And in, for you to do that, what they do is they give you this little connector here, which is one that you would replace this with. And you would actually hook it up to one of your parking light switches. Um, and I didn't really want to cut my factory wiring harness. So... Uh, did a little bit of searching online and going through some forums and stuff like that. I found out about a company called Starkey, um, and they actually make a plug-and-play harness. And this is it right here. Plug-and-play harness, and this is for the LED headlights. So basically all this is going to do is... Well, let me get out of the package. You will unplug one of your headlights... You will plug this end to the back of the headlight, and then the other end plugs into the factory wiring harness, and then it's got your positive and negative. So basically, it makes this a plug-and-play option. So if that's the route that you guys want to go, um, I will I will link all of this stuff down in the description below. And here's what I've got for you guys. I actually teamed up with them, and I ordered another one. I got a whole nother set of raptor lights for the grill of these trucks and i'm going to be doing a giveaway so what, what i'm going to have you to do is down below i want you to comment i want you to like subscribe and share this video and you guys will be put in a chance to win a set of the raptor lights from me coming to you guys um, this is going to be basically my thousand member giveaway um, we're up to, we're actually almost to 1,200 subscribers now. So, um, yeah, we're going to do a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So you guys just like, subscribe, share, and comment in below. Uh, in, in the comments below, let me know that you've done all that, and we will get you guys going. We're going to run this. Um, we're going we're gonna to run it for a month. So today is Saturday the 27th, so we'll see you guys April 27th and we will do the giveaway um and we'll we'll do the giveaway that we'll reach out to you guys um you know and uh we'll get that going get them sent out to you um the only thing that you will have to do is if you want to do it this way uh you'll have to get with starkey uh and order this i think this thing was like 20 or 30 dollars um uh, for the plug and play kit if that's the route you want to go uh, other than that it'll come with with however you guys want to hook it up whether it be to the ground and to your parking lights or if you want to hook it up to your outfitter switches so that being said let's get after it all right so here's the cool thing so um with the my ring's going off let me turn that off 
Um, so with Custom Auto Works, what they do is they actually send you all the information, you know, as far as, you know, your directions and everything. So you get, you know, all these pages, you know, and it gives you different different wiring options too, you know, like if you want to, let's flip through here. <laughs> or if you want to tap the brown wire, the Raptor lights will be on anytime the truck is running. So all of this right here, is basically to get all your plastics off, you know, like your grill and all that kind of stuff so you can get back behind it. Um, and then, you know, if you've got the halogen lamp, um, it tells you one way to do it. If you, um, if you wanna hook it up to your outfitter switches one way, if you wanna hook it up so the truck's running all the time, um, so on and so on and so on. So here's the directions for the outfitter switches, you know, like which wire does what. If you wanna do that, all of this, stuff is in the packaging so when you get it uh, and here it is that's what it looks like it's the way that it comes oh, from them um so when it comes in this box right here everything is in this box it's got your lights it's got your your little connector here it's got their little business card here you know if you need to contact them for whatever reason and then of course all your directions so um, the fun part is, is I've been driving my truck all day, so it's nice and warm. So when I got home, I popped the hood, um, hoping to cool it down a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and break some tools out. Um, as some of you know, we're in the process of moving. So a lot of my tools aren't here. So, um, we're going to be using, you know, probably not the best tools, uh, cause I can't really access all of my tools at the moment. But I got screwdrivers, you know, stuff like that here and there that I'm going to be using. So um, let me get my tools and I'll be right back with you guys. All right. So what it says, it says remove the plastic cover by removing 13 retaining clips. And our 13 retaining clips are going to be, we have one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe 13, thir 13, anyways, oh man, oh gross, got bug guts on my shirt, probably should wash my truck, so the cool thing is you don't actually have to completely remove the grill, you need to remove this, this cover so we can access behind here, and then it just attaches to the grill, so you don't really have to remove it completely, um, yeah, so, I mean, it's not like, doesn't seem to be an overly um, complicated job. So if you're you're not super, super hands-on and you don't feel comfortable doing it, you know, cool, take it to a shop. I'm sure, I don't know what they'd charge you. I mean, I think most shops are, you know, uh, you know at $125 an hour for, for stuff like that, but they might charge you a couple of hours, you know, minimum. So you're looking probably 300 bucks to have it installed or so, you know, give or take a little bit, depending on your area, it might be more or less. Um, but, uh, yeah so we're gonna kind of get started and see what we can do here um i got big fat stupid hands so um that's gonna work out real well but let's uh let's get started we'll record this and we'll uh put you guys in uh time lapse so you're not here i don't know 15 minutes taking all this stuff apart let's get going So basically all I did is that little baggie that had, you know, all some of those extra parts and stuff that come with it. I just went ahead and just recycled and, and used that. That way I'm not using one that I have here at the house to dirty up. All right. Oh, yeah. There's that. All right. So that's taken off. 
real nice and easy. So what we need to do is try to figure out, we're gonna go through our directions here. I'll be able to get my hand back in there. Like I said, I mean, these things are stupid. You know, that's why you have kids. I think you know when you got when you got big hands, you got you got your <laughs> that's what your kids are for, man. So they can get your get their little hands down in small places, I guess. All right, so we'll grab our we'll grab our lights. We'll take them down there. We got our plug and play adapter from Starkey. Once again, guys, this is the Raptor light kit from Custom Auto Works. Um, probably the best looking kit that I've seen online. Um, reasonably priced. They're not terribly priced. Um, and you get a nice powder coated finish on the, uh, on the bracket itself. And then, of course, you get your, your four LEDs. And it's going to sit in there like this obviously behind behind the grill let's get going So I figured it out. Hello, neighbors. All right, so I figured it out. Uh, hopefully, anyways, we're gonna go through and So you take, you take these screws out here. Boom, 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 boom. This right here, screw. There's a nut right here. We gotta get off. There's one here. If you can see it, that right there. We gotta get that nut off, and then. We come down here this plastic piece if i can do it one-handed i may not be able to do it one-handed let's uh let's put you down yeah for now all right so it was kind of a nightmare we had to pop this piece off i had my wife go get our little plastic tools and that flipped the grill over because i went ahead and took the whole grill off this piece oh this piece sits right here like that so you got to undo you got to pop this off there's a screw there and a screw there if you want to take the whole grill off then all you have to do if you have this one with the camera you've got a plug here and then you just undo the the deal there for the look at these kids <laughs> neighborhood kids out having fun oh you looked dirty all right so here's what we look like for now. All right, let's work on uh, reading the rest of these directions so we can so, <laughs> so we can work on getting these lights installed. 
I don't own the rights to that music there. Okay guys, so here's what we ended up doing. So I took the battery out because I was thinking I was gonna be able to access the lighting here. Ain't gonna happen. So what we did is we took these, there's a clip here, you probably can't see it. Clip here, clip here. Let's see, here we go, okay. So we took this clip out, this clip out, there's a bolt right here. And then we were able to pry this back and you can see I've got it right here. Let me stand this up. So I was able to reach in there and grab this plug and it plugs right in. Oh, my watch is stuck to the back of the headlight. You probably can't see it up in here. So yeah, you can't really see it very well. So I got it unplugged and uh, now we're going to plug in our wiring harness here. We're going to plug this in. We're going to test it and make sure that light comes on uh, when the headlights come on. So let's get that done. All right. So it is now dark. You can see we've got them installed. We went ahead and, oh, I can't see. So we got the, the wire loom here. We've got it zip tied here. We've got one back here. We got one here. We fed it through here, you know, just to kind of keep it somewhat clean. Get that popped in. So, I mean, you can't really even see it. And we'll turn the, and just unlock the truck. And this is what it's gonna look like. Let's turn these off. There they are, obviously. Still gotta put the grill on, finish putting the rest of the truck together. But yeah, it looks good. We ran it through here. This is kind of, you can see the wires here. I still gotta tuck them up and get that cleaned up. But there it is. I will, uh, I'll get some video of it tonight uh, after I get it all put back together. Hope you can see me, there we go. Once we get it all put back together, I'll get it, uh, I'll give you some video there and then we'll walk around in the morning kind of showing you guys. So appreciate y'all watching tonight. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so we got it done. Here's what it looks like. Grill's back on. You can see one there, 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 and so on and so on. I'll turn the lights off. Go ahead. And there it is. Oh, pick up that. Instructions. But anyways, that's what it looks like. Turn the, uh, if you open the door, there you can see a headlight knob. You go ahead and turn the headlight knob. There you go. Okay. All right, guys. There you have it. Not a bad install. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the morning, and we'll go over these. We'll show it to you in the morning so you can see what it looks like in the daytime. See you guys then. All right, good morning, everyone. So here we are, day two, or the next day. So you guys can see what it looks like all put back together. There it is. There's the lights. I got the wire loom all tucked up in there so you can't really see it. But there it is. Step back, I hit the unlock button. Yeah, looks really good looks really good nice and even spaces in between where these things are at but yeah came out great i love it excited about it and i'm excited for you guys too because like i said i'm doing a giveaway so that being said please like subscribe share and comment on this video and you will enter to win a set of the raptor lights for your 2020 F250, 2020, 2021 F250 um, with this style grill, because I believe they make a couple of different options. So if you've got this style grill, it doesn't have to be black, but just this style grill, then I believe these things will work for you. So if you guys are wanting to purchase it, I'll have all the description down in the link below for you guys to go to Custom Auto Works website and look and see if this will be the one that'll fit yours um 
subscribe anyways. I'd rather you guys subscribe and uh, kind of go from there. So appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. We'll see you guys next time.